Sometimes when you are creating animations, you don't start with a big plan or a complex concept. You just follow an idea and slowly it starts turning into something that feels nice and satisfying. That's exactly how this one happened. So in this video, we are going to walk through this animation from the very beginning where we look at how a small idea grows into a complete motion piece. Let's start from the beginning and see how it was made. So when I was making this project, I was sure that I was making this for Google and then I grabbed the Google color palette. Here we have it. Let's begin by creating a background for our animation, then select star tool from here and create a star. Now if you got shapes something like these, you can change it from here in the properties panel. Just put the amount of points you want in the star, like for this animation we want 4 points. And then when you press enter, then change the inner radius and outer radius of it. And then open shape layer 1. Here you will find the inner and outer roundness. Adjust it however you want and your shape is ready. Now it's time to add some colors in our design. Right click on the shape layer 1 and under layer style select gradient overlay. Then under gradient overlay settings select the colors you want. I like this one, you can choose whatever you want. Adjust the angle and the offset to achieve the desired look. Once this is done, select circle tool from here and create a circle while holding shift. This will help you to create a perfect circle. Then add drop shadow effect to a star and increase the distance and the softness. After that, select the circle layer and add some stroke. Then hold Alt on your keyboard and right click here to switch the stroke from fill to gradient. Then you can paste the colors from the palette by selecting them from this tool. After that, adjust the gradient. I think this looks fine. Duplicate our circle layer and rename one to circle fill and second to circle stroke. Rename the shape layer one as well. Then remove fill from stroke layer and also remove stroke from fill layer. Adjust the stroke size. Now why I did this? Let me explain. You have three layers. What if you add glow to all of them? It looks cool, right? But what if you remove the glow from the fill layer and put the stroke layer with glow behind it? It looks amazing. So this is exactly what we are going to do in our animation. Pair in the stroke layer to fill layer. So whenever you move the fill layer, stroke layer will move as well. Then hide all these layer and lock them because it's time to make our typing box. So select the rounded rectangle tool from here and create a rectangle. Then decrease the stroke size to 0 and add a fill of dark grey or you can just do this. Now you know how to make strokes right? So let's see how to make gradient. Duplicate the stroke layer of the box and add deep glow effect and gaussian blur effect. Adjust both of the effects to achieve the look that you want. But make sure to change the blur dimension to vertical. This will create these lines at the corner. Select the gradient layer, click this button and add trim paths. Then add this expression in offset. Again select the gradient layer and type here taper. This will open the taper settings. Here set both of these to 50. And now you have this animated gradient. To make this even more appealing, select the gradient layer and increase the roundness. 
Animate the scale of star and circle and make a graph something like this. Also animate the rotation of star and give it the same graph. Parent the circle fill layer to star so when you animate the star the circle will follow it. To smooth out the animation make a graph something like this. Repeat the same process to animate it here as well. After that animate the scale of the star and give it a graph like this. Now we are done with the star and it's time to animate the typing box. Make a keyframe on size and position of both fill and stroke rectangle. After that animate it so it looks like star is revealing the box. Then add light sweep effect to the fill layer. Change the shape to smooth. Set the edge intensity and edge thickness to zero and increase the sweep intensity. Then animate the center position of the effect so it moves with the star. Once that's done, add the trim part to the stroke layer and animate the end and offset value. After that, animate the scale of the gradient layer. Now it's time to add the text. So I'm typing Google AI Studio. Adjust the size, font and color of the text. Once that's done, add an effect called Blinking Cursor Typewriter Console. Then press U on your keyboard to enable the keyframes and adjust the timing. After that, easy is the keyframes and give them this graph. You can also add the glow effect to the text. Now, while I'm making little corrections in the timing of the animation, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you will never miss the upcoming tutorials. Also, leave your feedbacks in the comment section and you will find the project file of this animation in the description. Now, it's time to see the final result.